Lunchtime on August 2nd was no ordinary day for friends Lisa Volpe Hatchie and Teresa Boys. Sure, many customers swarmed their Snappy Dog storefront looking for mouth-watering hot dogs to fill their lunchtime hour hunger, as has become a daily occurrence. But this day was special. Boston's ABC affiliate WCVB Channel 5 stood alongside the crowded lines as they filmed an upcoming segment for their popular news magazine show, Chronicle. Lisa's father, Tony, cannot help but smile at all that these entrepreneurial women have achieved in such a short time. I think it's exciting, Andrew. It gathered a lot of people here. It really did. They do have a goodly amount on their uh, senior day, which is um, Tuesdays. The hot dog is 50 cents off if they're over 65. But today there, there were a lot more people, of course. Although the pair had previously worked together in a number of food shops in the area, they longed to create something that was uniquely them. During a motorcycle ride around the Wachusett Reservoir, Lisa stumbled across a hot dog stand in West Boylston and thought, why can't I do something like this? And the idea for Snappy Dogs was born. After joining up with Teresa for the venture, the women recruited their families to help build the solar-powered lunch stand that now sits on the Route 85 side of the Koala's parking lot and opened up for business in September of 2009. Are you having another one? Yeah. Yes, I ordered With weekly specials and specialty condiments such as their homemade zucchini relish and watermelon chutney, Lisa and Teresa aren't afraid to experiment with bold flavors and have developed a loyal following as a result. This hot dog that I'm eating today is actually very healthy. Dog. It's a turkey dog loaded with chili, jalapeno peppers, and onions, and it's delicious. What? So it makes it not so bad anyway. What did you think of the hot dogs? They were awesome. I had the big dog, these guys had the chili dog, um, my son over there had a big dog, this one had the little dog, so good stuff. Chili was good. I like this place, they come here like every, whenever, whenever, yeah, every week, Florida. What did you have for lunch today? Um, the big chili dog, it was good, with cheese, yeah. <laughs> was it the best hot dog you've ever had? Probably, yeah. And do you think you're going to come back and have some more? Definitely. Really good. I bought six of them. <laughs> Not only do they have a reputation for grilling up some delicious dogs, but the duo have built a special rapport with their customers, which has been a huge part of their recipe for success. So many of our uh, favorite customers and our family and friends came by today, so that was really special for us. What we like about it is Teresa, because we, um, we've been friends with one of her sisters since Allison and I were in junior high together. So we've known Amy for a long time, and she told us about this about a year ago, and we've been wanting to come out here. And they're very personable, as you can see, and um, I think that means a lot. The ladies hardly had time to relish in the success of the day as they cooked up some lunchtime orders, but were so appreciative of the support they received on their special day. Oh my word, we had a blast. We handled it too. We did well, Lisa. Yeah, we did good. We did good. We did good. So the hardest thing I think though was keeping that grill hot enough because I kept opening, putting things on, taking things off, losing all the heat, freaking out. But we did it. We did it. It was a big dog day. Did you see all the guys that were here today? It was like it was like they were at Patriot Stadium or something. All these big guys. We had tailgaters. We had burly men. Even the Great Danes. I mean, what did we sell? Like a half a dozen of those or something like that? Yeah, no, half pounders. Big. To take a bite out of a snappy dog, visit their stand, which is open Monday through Saturday from 11 to 3. Reporting for HCAM News, I'm Stephanie Kane.